Hi, Gordon. Hi, Gordon. This, this is Tammy. Tammy. <coughs> We're going to be looking, looking at your stupid, stupid, stupid page today, page today. So, so I've logged in. in. I added, added a picture of you. Of you. Uh, uh, now, now, if you've got any of your stuff. social media attached, which it looks like you have your Facebook, your LinkedIn, and a couple Google Plus pages, you can also do a Twitter, then you can share anything you want. But currently, these are your main topics. You have distressed properties, what you should know about buying, what you should know about, uh, let's see, what else is this about? Utah commercial properties. This is your board, and as soon as you click on your board, it'll pull up recommended content. You can see up at the top, suggested content. You don't have to see this. You could get rid of this completely. Um, <clears throat> you can start looking at other items here, so you can sort all of these items. Let's take out, um, let's add commercial, because that's what this is about. So it's going to check everything that is car commercial, foreclosure, selling a home, new homes. It's going to search articles, documents, pictures, videos, social network posts, and user suggestions. That's everything. So it's really going to show a lot of information, and it just refreshed. So you can see that relevance. That means how many shares. It's going to show you by the most relevant content. You can switch that to freshness. That means people that have just recently posted. Um, <clears throat> you know what is what's fresh, what's happening right now, or its relevance to your. Uh, list of, of items here. So we can hide that, we can show that, I can put that back, or let's see, um, I can make it go away completely with that little right there in the there. So if you want to look for other things that other people have talked about or other people have posted to share on your own Scoop It page, you can do that. But that's not really what you want to use it for. You want to use it for your own posts. So let's go over to your blog post here. And let's look for some information that we can talk about. Uh, so we're on, you know, we're on these, your blog post here. So new construction loan process in Salt Lake. So I'm going to take a look at that. This is your page. I'm going to go up to the address bar and I'm copying the whole address bar. So I highlighted it. I know you can't see that, but I highlighted it. Then I'm going to go take it over here and let's go back to the dashboard, which is your main page that everybody sees. And let's see, what was this about? This was new construction. So you might want to create a new topic of new construction. So let's do that. New construction in Utah. And this will all be about, everything will be about that. So you can see <clears throat> your scoop it will be new construction in Utah. So you can see how your URL customizes for that. So we want to do uh, construction new construction I'm just giving it some keywords Utah real estate um, so anyway and we don't want it to be hidden because we want everybody that visits our page to be able to see it as well and that's all I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna click on create a topic and then it should automatically create it now of course here we go again it gives us suggested content to put on that board because when we create a new board it's completely empty but we want to put our own stuff on there. So now place, paste a link, which I had copied it from that blog post. So now I'm linking it. <clears throat> Scoop without link, upload your own document. So let's say you have a PDF of information or a market report. You could upload that right to your Scoop It. Your Scoop It page is everything out there in the entire internet universe that you or other people have done that you want to culminate and put on your board. So once I've put the, po the post in here, I'm going to click the green button. It's going to load the content, and here it is. Here's the content. Now I can change the image to anything I want. That's the image it pulls from the website. So now I'm going to add my information, and let's say, let's go over here. Uh, information, I'm just getting some information so I can post it there on the appraisal. Requested new loans. I can say, this is a great piece of information for those looking at appraisals and qualifications on new construction loans. Okay, so <clears throat> now you can write as much as you want in here because now you are commenting on this post. And that's why it, even though you wrote the post, you can comment. And that's what you can do with other people's posts. If you like their post, you can comment and mention whatever you want about theirs. Um, so now we can share on Facebook, we could share on LinkedIn, whatever we want, and we can add different things. See, I can add this in here, 
or I can add my own information. I can delete this and put something different for the LinkedIn post. Do anything I want there, but let's go ahead and publish this. Okay, so there we go. So now on your new construction in Utah page, which you can always edit, you can see how I scrolled over it and that little edit button popped up. You can always edit it, delete it, whatever you'd like to do with this page. Now I can add as many as I want. So let's look at suggested content. New construction, spending, okay, and this is a good one. Stock, U.S. Census Bureau, that's great. Let's scoop that. <clears throat> and you can again go in and delete it if you if you want to but maybe I read this and I have something to say about it actually I don't agree with this blah 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 you can say whatever you want or you can just scoop it onto your page and then you can share it if you want or not and let's publish it so there we go now let's say we really like Bill Gassett's information let's search for him there he is. So we can look at everything. So now this is his page. Just like it looks like your dashboard, this is his dashboard. These are his posts. And he only has three topics that he discusses. Real estate articles worth reading, social media engagement, and search engine optimization tips and advice. Those are his three posts and three boards that he has on his Scoop It. And we, if you want to be more real estate, you probably want to look at his real estate things. So Here's all of his stuff scooped by Bill Gassett. See, that's it shows from what website it is, which is his website. And then see, this is what he has commented. He's commented on his own information. This is all his information that he decided to put just on Scoop It to make this post original to Scoop It. Yes, it links back to his major website, and you can read the whole article there. But this talks about, okay, this is why I wrote this and yada yada and go from there. Now let's say I really like this. Don't leave junk if you're you know, a seller. Let's scoop it. <clears throat> now where do we want to put it? Add this scoop to? No, it's not new construction. So let's go up here and let's do, maybe it's just real estate because it's more of a seller and you don't have a seller. So let's, let's scoop this to real estate. Now right here, I can talk about it again. I could talk about his and it would be different than his comments. So then when I'm done, we just click publish and there you go. Successfully published. So, <clears throat> then you just can click that away. Anyway, so you have one notification here, rescoop first time buyer from real estate. Okay, so it just tells you notifications up there at that little bell, um, and you follow him. So now you can look for other things if you want to. Uh, share this topic, search this topic. I mean, there's lots of things you could, you could search through, you know, a hundred different things here, but you're working on real estate. So basically what you want to do is take all of your information. Let's go back over to, uh, how about this one? Pair Salt Lake Condominiums by Area. This is a great blog post. I'm going to copy the whole URL, the www, and let's go right over to, we're going to go back to our dashboard, my dashboard. And uh, let's, see, uh, let's see what you should, what know, you should about know about buying. buying. So let's, let's, let's click let's on that, on that. And, let's and let's add a page. Add a page. Okay, we need to get rid of the suggested content, content and let's add our, add our page, page right here. And this is talking about the, the condominiums. <clears throat> so we click that. It's loading. It's getting the information. I can always upload a different image if I want. Compare condominiums by area. Great post to compare local condos in Salt Lake City. And again, we can share it on these different places and hit publish. So now more information. So basically, whether you're active rain, whether you're on your two different blogs, whether you're point two, WordPress, wherever you are, you are culminating all of those blog posts into your one Scoop It page so that people can look at Scoop It, which does get indexed and people can find it specifically. Your URL is buying homes by Gordon S. Sloan. Uh, you know, your set, you know, your, um, your dashboard in general is Gordon S. Sloan. If anybody searches for you, they will probably find your Scoop It page. So the more information you've got on your page, the more uh, popular it will be and the more Google will see that it is active and working. So that's really the best way to do it. Now your followed topics, let's see if you follow any topics, real estate probably would be one of them. If we can get this to load. 
And then, of course, you can follow, you know, my community. These people right up here are people that you might follow. That doesn't seem to be long. There we go. Follow topics. So now you don't have to, you know, Apple Keynote slides for sale. I don't think you want to, do you want to, you probably don't want to follow this credit cards. So if you just scroll over, you see how it says unfollow. I'm not going to do that because I don't know if you want to follow those. But you could just click unfollow and then they're not going to show up. Um, you know, this one is Bill Gassett's probably good. I don't know if any of the rest of those that you want to follow. I don't know if it automatically signed you up for those when you signed up for Scoop It. Not too sure. My followed scoops. So other people that might be following you, this is the stuff that you've recently posted. So this is information that somebody might have been reading. And then your community, the people you are connected with. These are the uh, eight people so far that you are connected with. So you can look for more. The more just like on Facebook, Twitter, the more followers, likes you've got, the better the whole process looks. So that's Scoop It. Um, refer back to this at any time so that you know how to put a new scoop. But any new blogs, any new pages, any new listings information, you should copy the link over to Scoop It so that it builds out your pages and your boards.